Hi students, I am Priyanka Jain and I am a verified educator at the Unacademy Plus platform. You can watch several of my plus classes. Okay, I have soon started a catalyst batch course for the whole inorganic chemistry. You will see all the inorganic chemistry in this course and this is for the upcoming June 2022 exam of the CSIR net as well as for the GET exam, okay? So if you want to see different of the my lectures, different courses, you can see on the Unacademy. Take the subscription of the Unacademy. And if you want to see the free classes, there are also several free classes. Every month I take several free classes. You can watch these free classes without taking subscription. So for this, you will have to uncode my code. My code is Priyanka Jain 10. By clicking on this code, you will get the link for my classes. Thank you. Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching here the questions from CSIR net. Okay, these questions I have taken from the February 2022 question paper. See here the question is from the electrochemistry. What is the question? For a weak electrolyte such as acetic acid, the relation among the conductance lambda naught, equilibrium constant K and the concentration C can be expressed as Okay, we have given four different options. I have written here the options from the hand. Okay, so see here, this is the one, two, three and four number of options. So we have given that lambda naught is the conductance at infinite dilution and we know this thing. Okay, so for this question to do, what you have to do? Firstly, you have to find out the relationship between the equilibrium constant and concentration. Okay, first of all, you will have to see this equilibrium constant and concentration relationship. For this, what you will do? Okay, see here, what is the Oswald law? As you have seen from the Oswald law, this, we have given acetic acid. Okay, so the dissociation of acetic acid happens like this. CS3COO minus plus H plus. Okay, and at any time T, suppose here the concentration is C, it will be 0, 0 when time is equal to 0 and at time t or at equilibrium what will happen here the concentration will be c alpha alpha is the degree of dissociation right this will be c alpha and this will be equal to c 1 minus alpha okay so the dissociation constant or the equilibrium constant k a is given by the square as we know c alpha square upon 1 minus alpha right now see what we can do here we can replace this position and this position okay so what we are getting 1 minus alpha will be equal to c alpha square upon k a okay now what thing we can do here see here this relationship we are getting okay now we can divide this by alpha if we are dividing this equation by alpha okay whole the equation is divided by alpha so what we are getting 1 minus alpha divided by alpha will be equal to c alpha square divided by alpha k a okay so here we are getting 1 upon alpha minus 1 is equal to c alpha divided by k a right now see here we know about the call rosh law okay according to call rosh law the degree of dissociation is given by alpha is equal to lambda upon lambda infinitive it means molar conductance at any concentration c divided by the molar concentration at the infinite dilution or we can write it like this lambda upon lambda naught this we have given that lambda naught is the molar conductance at the infinite dilution okay so now we can put this value we have to put this value at the positions of alpha because we have given the relationship in which we have not given alpha we have not given the degree of dissociation we have given these values so we have to put these values okay so we are now putting these values in this equation this is the equation okay so in this equation we are putting here these values so now see here what we are getting 1 upon lambda upon lambda naught minus 1 is equal to c here also we have to put in the same manner k a lambda naught okay now this value will go here lambda naught upon lambda 
माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू सी लैमडा अपॉन के ए लैमडा नॉट ओके सो वाट वी हैव टू डू नाउ जस्ट वी हैव टू डिवाइड इट बाई लैमडा नॉट ओके वी आर डिवाइडिंग इट बाई लैमडा नॉट सो वेन वी आर डिवाइडिंग वाट वी आर गेटिंग हियर वी विल गेट लैमडा नॉट लैमडा अपॉन लैमडा नॉट माइनस वन अपॉन लैमडा नॉट इज इक्वल टू C lambda upon K A lambda not square. Okay, so this to this will cancel out. So we are getting one upon lambda minus one upon lambda not will be equal to C lambda upon K A lambda not square. Okay, now we can rearrange this equation. Okay, when we are rearranging this, what we are getting? We are getting one upon lambda not is equal to one upon lambda. Minus c lambda upon k a lambda not square. Okay, so this is the relationship that you have given in the options. Okay, so we are matching it with our options. What is given to us? See here. See here. In this option number three, you have given one upon lambda not is equal to one upon lambda minus c lambda upon k lambda not square. okay so this was the relationship that you have to find out okay now you can see how simple this question was just you have to remember two simple relationship and rearrange them and you can get a quick answer okay so meet you in next video with some more questions with with some more concepts thank you